So I think you're kind of mixing up a bunch of concepts there. Uh, I would say that you're kind of mixing up marketing concepts with actual science and medical data. Now, the whole protein-rich rich plasma thing is a little bit of bullshit. Uh, they're taking PRP of some type. I don't know what type. It could be leukocyte rich. It could be leukocyte poor. And then they are dehydrating the plasma with basically a stock dehydrator, no different than the stuff they use in baby diapers that pulls water into it. And then they're claiming that's protein rich plasma and they're adding that to platelet rich plasma. That's a little bit of marketing gimmick. No one has a clue whether or not any of that is any better than just doing PRP. Let's stick with what we do know. What we do know, what we do have excellent data on um, or good solid data that's developing is that if you are middle-aged or older, uh, that high dose PRP works better than low dose PRP. So you should be more concerned about what dose they're getting to if you're in that age range and equally concerned about exactly where that PRP is going because there's a vast, vast difference between the ability to get it where it's supposed to go and not. And that's really hard to figure out. So those are the two things I'd be more concerned about than sort of clinic marketing, internal marketing BS, uh, which doesn't really make scientific sense. It's just so that one doctor can try to claim that they're using something else, but we don't have any data that shows that that something else is any better or worse than what's already being used.